All right. Today we're going to do another jewelry bin go through. We're going to be doing E today. I've displayed a few already to go over. These are beautiful five inch triangle boho festival earrings. They're just gorgeous. And I have all of these listed up in my Poshmark closet. My name is Michelle. My closet name is MC Wear for you. All right, this is a very long necklace, probably about 26 inches. Most of my jewelry is vintage. And this says by Napier. And then I have a very old vintage necklace here. And it is holographic on one side, matte, a matte stone on this side. And I'm not sure of the stone. I would have to run it through Google Imaging. Oh, there it is, rhodium. Rhodium Knights Pendant. And it looks like it's a sterling silver chain. All right. So, what's next? We have some shell earrings. Beautiful vintage shell earrings. Okay. Some boho wooden ear wooden nut earrings wooden necklace with a barrel class which i don't think that they use anymore very popular in the 70s okay i'm gonna probably leave them out of the bags for time so you're not sitting here watching me bag them as it is i'm unbagging them and apology okay these are sort of art to wear vintage about three inches vintage earrings we got some little pink butterfly glittery Hot Topic earrings. Kind of self-explanatory, so I won't go into depth of those. What do we got here? All right, we got a matching set. It looks like blue lapis. Little earrings with matching necklace. And that's what that looks like. Okay. Next is a pearl beaded necklace. Oops. Not necklace. We've got two pairs of earrings. Two pairs of earrings. Pearl earrings. Okay. And next, it may be a necklace. Ooh, beautiful statement necklace. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It looks like we got a little straggler here. So let's take that out. All right. Beautiful. If anyone knows anything specific about these, I'm far from an expert. Please comment below. Enamel, enamel earrings were very popular in the late 80s to early 90s. Kind of rustic in color. Some laser cut out. Circle hoop type earrings, those are beautiful. And most of my jewelry is listed between 10 and $20. I do sell, but I do um, have a sale, a buy one get one free sale going on right now, which is great. So it's half of the cost. Little leaf silver studs. They look like sterling as well. About a half inch. All right. Next, we have a necklace. Statement necklaces are supposed to be very, very popular. In 2024, they're coming back. Gorgeous, green, sparkly, adjustable. I don't know if anybody remembers Charming Char Charming at Charlie's. That was the, the little C. Okay. We have some shell earrings, gold tone, 
old Tom shell, about an inch. All right. Next, we have some colorful, colorful beaded earrings. Papa color is also supposed to be popular this year for 2024. So a, light, a nice neutral outfit that you like, but then a little pop of color, whether it's in jewelry or eyeliner or a bold lip, a bright handbag, your choice. These are very old and vintage. Screw back earrings were popular in the 1940s. And they have rhinestones with, I think that's called aquarium. Gorgeous. These sparkle like mad. And for being how old they are, they're gorgeous. Great for a vintage prom or just vintage date night. Next are some statement earrings for pierced ears, about an inch in length. Very pretty. Okay. Next, we have a necklace. Beautiful tortoise shell. How did we go here? There we go. We got a toggle, toggle, toggle clasp. Very easy to do, especially if you have long nails, which I don't. I'm just saying. Beautiful. Okay. Next, we have some mink fur, vintage obviously, a mink. These are little pieces of mink. There we go, a very long necklace that could be worn cross. All right. Next, we have a little ring, a little vintage, vintage costume jewelry. Pearls and turquoise. I'm a size six. This looks like maybe a size five. I'm a size six and a size five on here, and that fits. So I'm going to say yes, it's a size five. All right. Next, we have some Christmas earrings. Artisan made. Beaded with little stockings on them. Oops, charms, about three inches in length. Next, we have these look very old. These look very, very vintage. Enamel center wings. Okay. Next we have a beaded, I'm going to say probably a necklace. I have seven, currently I have 7,000 jewelry listings up. And a lot of these, um, I list so much jewelry, I forget what I have. <laughs> And it all gets inventory. These are glass beads. They're cool to touch. Maybe not that light, this one, but all of these are. Button closure. Very beachy. Vacation vibes. Pearl studs. Evening wear. I'm going to try to pick up the pace. So this video isn't super long. Bracelet. Looks like it's either Napier or Monet. Stretchy. Probably 80s. It probably came with a set. Probably came with a necklace and earrings at one point. Okay, this says made in Japan. I'm not sure what these stones are, but if you are, let me know. Japan, it says. Cold to touch. Very unique art to wear. All right. Some wicker baton hoops. Okay. One of those silver snaky type. They bend. I mean, I've always called them snake necklaces. They bend exactly how you want them. They could be a bracelet or a necklace. Unisex. Next, 
is a maybe how light it looks like possibly let's see what this says it just says covington kentucky coplins so i guess that's where it came from it doesn't stretch long and i'm going to keep that little tag maybe the tag was at one point stickered on okay some Kendra Scott dupe earrings, green, not green, orange, gold tone. Some beaded glass artisan. Glass beads, orange and white. Okay. Some Monet 14 karat gold filled ear wires, Monet, post earrings, oh goodness, Some brass earrings, brass black, there we go, I buy all my vintage jewelry from either estate sales, lots online, um, Topic toward Lane Bryant actually bulk and all different different types of places. In case you're wondering, how did I acquire all this? These are I think 80s um, Borellis in the center. These look like maybe wedding earrings to me or prom, but I think like an 80s wedding theme. These would look gorgeous with your hair pulled back. And it looks like I gotta glue a little bead there and fix that. Here is an amber ring vintage. Gorgeous. I don't see any markings though. It's very, well, let's see what size. Let me see. It's kind of big. Maybe a size seven or eight pretty big. Okay, swirly. Okay. All right, let's see here. Enamel black post earrings. Black and gray. Some vintage. Glass beaded silver hoop earrings. Blue and clear. Pink, silver, swirl earrings. A brooch pin. Let me take this out to give you a better view. Trying to keep the video under 15 minutes. Beautiful. Those are real flowers pressed in there, so it's very vintage, very old. Kind of a, reminds me of a cameo. All right, let's pick up the pace a little more. We've got some animal print leopard earrings. We've got some post circle half inch cutout gold tone earrings. We've got a cute little owl head earring, not earring, ring, excuse me, and that looks about a size six to me. I already have these listed in my posh closet. This is a very uh, belly dancer type of dingly, as you could hear, anklet. Beautiful. If you're into dancing, that will be striking. All right, we've got a light purple stone ring. Looks like a size eight. I believe it is a size eight, if I recall. We've got another Kate Spade, maybe dupe or maybe real. I don't know if Kate, not Kate Spade. Um, Kendra Scott. Have I been saying Kate Spade? I apologize. Pink cold stones with crystals all around. Real stones, very well made. We have a Christmas brooch. Little white house with picket fence. I think someone possibly made these. Another silver leaf brooch. And, and it's stamped. 
Sarah Coventry. Okay. Another wreath with some Barilla stones, brooch pin. These look very nice on blazers. Some white metal rope, one inch hoop earrings. Two pairs I see of earrings. I think these were just Torrids. Post. Again, so if this was listed for 15, you would still be able to grab another one for free. So you get three for free. Okay. Vintage gold tone with a purple stone. About one inch. Some vintage floral, gold floral with a little black center stone. Post earrings, about half inch. A glass beaded necklace. This is a statement piece. About one inch glass kind of candy cane type with Indian seed beads. Cold to touch, brown and tan beaded earring. And lightweight considering. Almost looks like some sort of almond, but no, it's a bead. All right. Some clip-on silver half-inch hoops. Clip-on. Great if you're thinking about getting a second or third hole. You can grab a pair of clip-ons. A vintage gold rope bracelet. And that is a very old vintage, maybe 60s or 70s hook closure. Silver and black dangly. I believe these were torrid as well, earrings. Little mother of pearl shell beachy green earrings, and we're getting down there. Two more, and we are in at 17 minutes. They say people's attention span is eight. Cinderella's glass slipper, glittery, beautiful. All right, and then the last one is. Let's open her up. Let's see. This is a Jesus pendant, unisex, bling bling. And I believe that might open. I'm not sure what that's for. That little cage there. And that's what that looks like. It has weight to it. And there you have it. We have an empty bin. I appreciate you taking the time if you stuck with me and let me know in the comments um, if you like these videos or you prefer the clothing videos or shoe videos. Um, I want to accommodate everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.